Okay, sorry about that, folks. I'm definitely going to edit those two minutes out. Jeez. Anyways, I'm back. We're back in Age of Wonders Planet Fall. How's everybody doing today? Time of recording this, Monday, March 29th. Tis I, Mobius Y. And as you can see, we're back in Age of Wonders Planet Fall. I didn't get the chance to do a makeup stream. Uh, got some work going on this week, so that's okay. I gotta do the posting stuff. Do a little bit of logger, loggering out. All right, let's get loaded in. Start loading into the game. I, I don't think I've touched this since uh, since I streamed it about a week ago. I don't think. Hmm, can't remember. Uh, I'm probably gonna. I've probably completely lost track of what I'm doing where we are, what the plan is, all that good stuff, but I will try. Nonetheless, let's boot it up and I'll do all the sellout crap in the meantime. Those of you watching this in the future on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. If you would like to see some more of this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know with a comment down below what of Age of Wonders Planetfall, whether or not you play it yourself or whether you're interested in checking it out. Thanks to uh, watching myself play it. By the, by the live streams or here on YouTube. And I hope videos like this on your subscription today. The goal for 2021 is to try to hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel by the end of December. So uh, do join us on the road to 10K. The best things you can do are, of course, subscribe yourself and share this content with anybody who you think might enjoy it. If you have any friends or colleagues that also play Age of Wonders Planetfall or are interested in the game, uh, send them my way. I'll try to give this game a good impression. I think this is a pretty awesome game. Uh, but like I said, haven't really, <laughs> haven't really given it much attention lately, especially considering we just got a nice new awesome possum update for Stellaris Console Edition. So I've been pretty busy with that um, for the last little while here. Um, anyways, uh, don't uh, before I forget. Don't forget to check out. Uh, the description below you'll find one from which i streamed this off of in there i'm currently streaming for week mondays tuesdays fridays at uh, nine o'clock eastern standard time i do believe or my local time of uh, 7 p.m mountain time uh whichever works for you uh whatever makes sense but uh yeah i stream uh a couple uh, a couple different games a uh, bit of a variety of games uh, and uh Come on by, see what I've got cooking. I guarantee I will stream Stellaris Console Edition at least once or twice a week, depending on how many streams I'm doing during the week. So, yeah, give me a follow. See what I'm playing live. There's also a link to my Twitter feed down below. Give me a follow there. It's a great way to keep in touch with me. And I have important announcements there all the time. And it's also a really good alternative if you are having difficulty uh, with your uh, notifications from Twitch. I post on my Twitter every time I go live with a stream. Um, so that's another good thing to do, uh, to keep tabs on what's happening, uh, with my live streams. Last but not least, there is a link to my own personal Discord channel for fans of my content to freely join. It's not necessary whatsoever, uh, but if you want to take part in the little community events that we have, such as submitting your favorite clips from my streams or my videos, uh, I put those together in a compilation video as a kind of, uh, viewers' favorite moments or best moments of 2021. That will be... Uh, done in January um, at, after the new year. So if you want to submit your favorite clips or if you want to take part in the viewer polls where you decide what games from my library on my Xbox and my PlayStation that I play live on stream, my personal Discord channel is the place to be. It's also an okay pa place to hang out uh, with other fans of my content. Just chat about whatever's on your mind. we got a bunch of different little uh, interesting uh, topic channels for you to uh, kill kill time during the day if you're stuck at work or at, or at school or something and you're extremely bored. There's a bunch of us in there that you can chat with about whatever. Anyways, uh, that's all out of the way. Whew. Um, I apologize for just going silent there. Like I said, I'll, I'll edit that out for the YouTube video, but uh, I just got my backyard re-sodded and, uh, re and redone last year. And, like, it's still brand new grass, pretty much, that survived this winter. But there's this giant fucking jackrabbit that's been coming in there since fall. And he digs up little holes all over the place. So, 
I saw him coming in for like the fourth time this afternoon. And I was like, oh, that little piece of shit. So I ran out and chased him off again. I gotta keep doing that periodically when he's out there. Otherwise, he's gonna get comfortable and start coming back all over again. Anyways, we're stuck on an army base. <laughs> <laughs> Strength Norse? Yeah, that could very well be a thing. How's it going, man? Thanks for coming by tonight's stream. Alright. While we're jamming to the awesome music from this game's awesome soundtrack, I'm going to double check that the uh, sound options are exactly where they should be. Yep, they are. Okay, we're good. Uh, so long as I'm coming through loud and clear, I am happy. Naughty Dog, what's going on, man? Thanks for coming by tonight. Joda Frogman, good to see you again. Um, okay, so what did we do? Operation ready, orbital laser cannon. Target not valid. Operations okay. primed and ready. Uh, what were we doing again? Oh, okay, yeah, 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 I remember. We had this... This person went down here and attacked this Cosmite Rift, which kicked our ass several times, and now that is a viable source of Cosmite once we annex that sector to Royal Duke Jam. So... There's that. Uh, what else do we have? Jana insulted you. Oh, okay. Incoming communication. Really? Is that your colony? Its ramshackle qualities remind me of the very first mountainside shelter I built out of sticks and stones. As a toddler. That was rude. I don't care. Uh, what? Let's see. Battle won by Shay. Don't care. Battle won by Shay. Don't care. Domain invasion at Dr. Shade's reliquary. Don't care. Jana Incoming server sent a message. You are wasting your time talking to puny losers when action speaks so much louder, blur, blur, blur. Are you really this weak? Man, this person is just... Here, have a compliment. Maybe that'll make you feel better. There you go. Cheer up. Just just cheer up a little bit, okay? <laughs> Not too bad, just waiting to go home. Yeah, that's, that's me pretty much from the moment that I punch into work every morning, buddy. I know how you feel. <laughs> uh, happiness in capital. In colony. Got 33 Cosmite. That's not too bad. Um, let's go ahead and move that away. Uh, do we really need this much energy going on? I don't think so. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. There we go. Now we're getting that structure in one turn. Uh, happiness slots. I think we're good there. Uh, because the maximum happiness threshold is 100. And right now we're generating 54 happiness a turn. So that's every two turns we get a happiness event. Once we get more colonists, I'll have to put another colonist in this happiness slot to get it back to every two turns we get a happiness event. But that's not going to be for a little while, I don't think. Um, Alright, so let's leave that alone. And happiness, happiness in Amazon Prime. In We've got 50 energy for that. Um, yay, I guess. Okay. Uh, that's four turns, three turns. Let's leave it at three turns. Uh, if I reduce that... No, nope, that doesn't do anything. Sweet. And... Watch it not be okay. Cool. I can pull away colonists from production a little bit. So yeah. All right. Now let's go ahead and put you there. Put you there. We're kosher. All right. Uh, what else? Message from the Forgotten Faction. This is probably going to be a new quest. Oh crap! This is for the technology thing. At least we're finished it in one turn because we're earning 505 science. Or knowledge, I should say, I should say. Okay, orbital laser cannon deals damage equal to forty percent of the targeted army's health. Oh, okay. No, I want to kind of wanted to use that on that uh, army stack, protecting that cosmite, um, cosmite thingy. So that's fine. Uh, what does this give us? Plus five influence to the colony it is linked to. Okay, our commander is going to go clear that. Wait, what? Why are you going over there? No, go up here. Um, confirm movement. What do we got? This is our rift generator. You're going somewhere. Probably going down south to regroup with all the other units that are kind of just chilling. Oh, yeah, this chick's in a tank. This is one of our... Oh, wait, it's not. Where's our commander that's in a vehicle? I could have sworn I had a commander in a tank. Eh, well, whatever. Okay, what are you doing again? You're going here to build a forward base. But then what were you doing? Oh, you're going way up here for almost no reason whatsoever just to kill, clear that spawner. I'm okay with that. Move to that station because this resupplies all movement points of visiting units. So I want to grab that. And that way they, she can move a lot further. 
Um, this person, you have points. But, alright, oh next level up, then we give you the fourth mod slot. Very good. Okay, so let's just get you to... Hmm, for now... Why don't we just park you inside our territory? So I think you'll get more health back that way on the next turn. Because I want that commander... I want this commander to be pretty healthy. The only thing that's kind of low on hit points is... Uh, or hero, excuse me. The only thing that's kind of low on hit points is this hero herself. And I don't think she has a healer unit in here. Um, aside from the phase manipulator. So let her get a little bit more health over the next turn and then go and attack this uh, this broadcast station here just to get some XP from defeating the locals in there. And where is... Oh, here she... Alright! She's in a walker. I thought she was in a tank for some reason. Eh, whatever. Okay, so a walker, a heavy soldier, a rift generator, a laser tank, an engineer because the four main damage... Well, everybody except the engineer itself is a mechanical unit and a phase manipulator. That's actually pretty cool. Interesting army makeup. Uh, where can we send them? We need them to do stuff. I need that. Com I need that hero to get XP. Let's send them over there to the east because there's some buildings over there that we can clear out for no reason whatsoever. Uh, so let's clear that out just for funsies. Off she goes. Maybe we should just get rid of the spawner that's down here. Eh, well, shit, I guess I kind of screwed that up. Oh, well, let's, whatever. It's not like the spawner's really done anything super dangerous to us yet. Okay, uh, this person, you can come on back over here. Whoop. Disembark, thank you very much. And this person, what were you doing? I can't remember. I'm not sure you were doing much of anything, now that I think about it. Why don't you go up to this anomaly site? You can take care of that. I got a really weird unit set up here. We got three healers, technically. A biomancer, a phase manipulator, and an engineer. The engineer can't heal anybody, aside from the turret that it drops, because it can only heal a mechanical unit, if I recall correctly. Let's see. Repair tools. Heal the targeted mechanical or cyborg unit for 30 hit points. Okay. Mechanical or cyborg, but I don't think any of these, aside from the phase manipulator. Uh, that's biological. That's biological. That's biological. This person is also biological. So, okay. The engineers can hear, heal the phase manipulator. Okay. <laughs> sure, whatever. All right. Anyways, um, commander. We have full tactical operation points, all 14 of them. So, let's go ahead and move this person here. Go, Commander, go! We're going to get right into a battle, nice and early in today's stream. Let's do this. And what do we got? Ooh, low-risk battle, but man, they have one of those big-ass Phoenix Walkers, and everything else is Autonom. I don't like fighting against the Autonom. Let's do an auto-combat, see what happens. Okay... Doctors are just organics mechanics. <laughs> oh, our commander died. Oh shit! I don't want that to happen. Uh, yeah, let's retry. Screw it. Yeah, we want to. We want to get into battle, right? So let's do this. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I forgot we. We. I forgot we had that stupid earthquake event going on. Okay, so those network connections can be a problem. And there's that big Phoenix Walker, I believe it's called. That is the Promethean Secret Tech uh, top tier unit. So the Promethean Secret Tech gives you the Purifier, which are those infantry guys that have the plasma gun. They shoot those long range plasma bombs, they set the, and it sets the ground on fire. Uh, their second unit is the Aegis tank, which is a tank. Self-explanatory, it's a tank. Um, and then the third one is this big... Yeah, it's a Phoenix Walker. It, uh, it's a big mech. <laughs> it's a big mech that shoots fire. Okay, um, I think I'm going to want to play this super-duper safe. 
So, laser tank is going to move. Uh, ooh, hello. We can get a shot right there. You know what? I'm going to move the laser tank right here. And I am going to get it to deploy smoke bomb. Push. There we go. And then we're going to use the overcharge laser cannon. This bypasses two armor. And with our mods, has a chance to stagger, blind, blah, blah, blah. Do a bunch of stuff. Oh my god, it does, it does not do much damage. That's awful. Zap! There we go. Okay, we got it for 14 damage. That's not too bad. Could be better. Could definitely be better. Alright, let's go ahead and put the engineer right here. And engineer, go ahead and drop the launcher turret. Yoink. Perfect. And now, the launcher turret. Fire all weapons! We just staggered two of them, too. That's perfect. I like that. All right, now now the engineer is in a good position to use its rocket launcher as well. Uh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's go ahead and use the ego launcher on our commander. Ooh, why do you have such a low hit chance? Oh, because the enemy, the friendly units are all in the way. All right, um, can I move them here? Looks like a rock'em sock'em robot. <laughs> you know what? It kind of does. <laughs> All right, here we go. 90% chance to hit these guys with this rocket launcher. Let's do it. Oh. How do you miss that? How do you miss that? What the hell? All right, well, we got another rocket here with the, uh, with the trooper. Can we hit these guys? No line of sight. Okay. Uh, so we could sh fire off a rocket. Let's just leave it alone, and we'll put the troopers on Overwatch. Uh, where do I want to move them to? Let's just stick them, like, right here. Behind some partial cover to one side. Go right here. They got a pretty pretty decent amount of uh, sight up into these pillars. So, yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, now the phase manipulator... Uh, you can just go ahead and move up to here. Because you're going to be playing support. Or I should say used as support. For Mr. Hero Guy. Alright, little pug. You just sit tight. Go right there. Actually, um, maybe I should... Nah, we'll leave it alone. I was thinking I should obscure our hero, but now nah, we're kosher. Okay, um... So we don't have much overwatch to lure them into a trap, but uh, they're a little bit hurt. And once they get closer, we've got our launcher turret. Uh, here, we've got our two troopers that have missile launchers as well. Like, we got tools. Plus, we can use um, our phase manipulator to try and... Oh, my God. Well, that sucks. There we go. We still got the overwatch. Nice job. Two good hits. That guy's half dead already. He's going to use his... Ooh. Ouch. That jet of flame thingy. Ooh, that one's painful. Zap. You missed, you piece of shit. Okay. Lots Operation of enemy units coming in and closing the gap. Okay. Uh... Damn, down to one. Down to one. Freaking. Okay, let's just have a phase shift over there. And then. Do this. Bitch! That did four damage. <laughs> that is terrible. Okay, um. Let's go ahead and. Ooh. It's gonna be tough using that launcher turret. With the big ass Phoenix Walker in the way, methinks. Okay, let's move a bit closer. And. I think I'm just gonna blast this guy because uh, I wanna get rid of him. I wanna get rid of him. I don't like him being here. It's not cool. Alright, let's move the trooper back. Everybody's hurt, and just about everybody's burning, too. That makes me very unhappy. Bang, 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 bang. 
Okay. That's that. Now let's get the laser tank to finish it off. Zap. Zap. Enemy zap. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay, let's move the pug forward just a teeny tiny bit. And we are going to put a blur cloud on our... Ooh, we can't. Not close enough. Okay, that's fine. Um, so now, get the missile launcher. Fire all weapons! There we go. And now we can move the engineer right up here, sandwiched between the fallen Phoenix Walker and our tank. That will provide it some cover. Shoot this guy. There we go. That did some damage. And staggered him again. Beautiful. I like that. Okay. Now, we get the pug. He's got to be right here. He's got to be three squares. Or, sorry, three hexes. Squares. All right. Blur cloud on the commander. Thank you very much. And next up, let's go ahead and move up to here. And can you kill this guy? Oh! <gasps> 90% chance. Okay, this is my this is my last turn, so yeah, let's do it. Come on, get those kill shots. Zap, zap, Enemy zap. kill. Yeah! Two down. Okay, um... Now what? I've got an operation that I can use. Uh, do I want to deploy a Valkyrie or just heavy launcher turret? Or maybe I should just do dimensional collapse and kill something, huh? Uh... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great phase echo vortex charge, reactive phase protection. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let, you know what? Let's deploy a Valkyrie. Fuck it. Come here, you. Eat shit. All right. Prepare to get lambasted. I, I want to get these little guys because they're actually kind of dangerous. They uh, they can rack up a lot of damage if you just let them shoot you. They go zap, zap, zap with their little laser cannons. They don't seem like much, but they can actually rack up a lot of damage. Super duper irritating. Oh my god, those guys are all burning. Oh my god, what was that? Punisher missile. Ouch. You missed. Notice how they're completely ignoring the Valkyrie in the back there? Shooting at our commander. That is why I put the blur cloud on the on the commander, because it's like you you dumb. I'm gonna go straight for straight for the commander because he's the closest. Whack, whack, enemy whack. Kill. Eat crap. All right, now our commander gets to have fun because our commander jumps up to here. Here we go, and now you beat the shit out of this guy. Bonk, bonk, bonk job. Okay. Now, our launcher turret's pretty hurt. I don't really care too much about that. Uh, what? Is there anything that could use some repairs? Probably not. Let's just, uh... Let's just go ahead and move forward a little bit. And I might not even need to use my missiles. But I'm gonna use it here. Eat shit. And this guy... You... We're going to do something a little wonky. Can you phase shift abduct? Got to be five hexes. Okay. So this guy's here. One, two, three, four, five. He's got to be way up here, really. Jeez, that's a ways. Okay. Um, I don't think this will work, but let's try it anyways. Okay. And abduct. Not on that guy. Do it on this guy. There we go. Okay, that actually brought it kind of a little bit in range. Now, uh, launcher turret. Ooh, ouch. I don't want you doing that. Just, uh... Huh. Why do you have such a low hit chance? Whatever, shoot over here. Do it. There we go. You missed! Good job. Alright, uh, troopers... You, you should be able to... Yeah, you can shoot him from there. That's what I wanted. Okay, so move up to here. Or the dude, I should say. <laughs> Your commander looks like the big Lebowski. <laughs> he looks like the dude. I'm not Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude, man. <laughs> Alright. 
Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to use a heal charge on our engineers because our engineer is pretty banged up. Let's go ahead and do that just to be on the safe side. And next, our laser tank moves up to here. Who can you shoot? I can kill this guy. I can kill this guy. I can kill this guy. Any of them are viable targets. Let's hit this guy. His flyers are super annoying. Enemy zap, kill. zap, hit, down he goes. Hell yeah. And they get staggered because the network connections are broken. I like it. I could use another tactical operation, but I think we're okay. This guy has six hit points, so the burning ground might kill him. Uh, more importantly, our commander, I believe, has like first strike and all that good stuff. So as soon as he tries to do something... Uh, counterattack. Yep, first strike. So as soon as that unit tries to do something, our commander will hit them with his sort of awesome sauce and kill them. And that'll just leave them with one unit. We're good. We won this battle. Easy peasy. No problem. Here comes the earthquake again. Zap. And that guy didn't even do anything. Okay. Oh yeah, because he was staggered too much. Alright, well get the killing blow. Enemy annihilated. Good job. And now, the next thing to get the killing blow can be the missile launcher that has missed. Good job. Good job. You're the bestest. <laughs> of course, that might have gone a lot better if I uh, got the damn tank out of the way, but, you know, whatever. Okay, I kind of want our trooper to fire off his missile. So, what's the hit chance here? 95%? Okay, do it. They never stood a chance. That was fun. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Way better result that time. Didn't lose the commander. Let's take our reward. Got some influence for that. I'm kosher with that. All right, now. Uh, let's queue up our commander to head down this way, I think. I do want to get the stuff that's there. Yeah, I'm a little scared too, but I think we'll be okay. Hey, our commander got an upgrade. Beautiful. Six skill points. Does he have... He does have a fourth mod slot. Okay. So, what the hell do we want to give him for six points? Oh, dimensional feedback. Yes. Yes, I want that. Uh, hang on. Yep, we're definitely doing that. Dimensional feedback. Boop. There we go. So I think that leaves pretty much every other skill that's available is only five points or less. So every level up we can get a brand new skill. Shield modulator is a really good one. All units in the hero's army gain one plus one shield, I should say. Uh, there's nothing locked, so that's good too. Void bullets would be good if this was a ranged commander, but he's not, so that's fine. Uh, shield modulator is really good. Personal weapons expert. This uh, has the hero's attacks gain plus 10% damage and accuracy when not in a vehicle. Martial arts tireless is also good, allowing the hero to trigger melee overwatch multiple times in a turn, though never twice against the same target. So if he jumps right in the middle of a bunch of bad guys and hits even just one of them, then he goes on melee overwatch. Anytime one of those units does something, whack, he's hitting them. Every time. It's going to be awesome. And we also want to upgrade Deadeye because uh, every time we get a level of that, all attacks gain 5% more accuracy and critical hit chance. Deadeye 3 will require 6 points. So when we take Deadeye 2, we'll want to have 1 point left over so that we can get Deadeye 3 on the very next level up. And what the hell else do we want after that? I don't even know. Um... Nothing else really stands out. I think uh, we largely got everything we, we want out of that. Okay. All right. Well, uh, wasn't a bad first turn for tonight's stream. Got a nice little battle. Secured a couple objectives, kind of, sort of. We did some stuff, blew up some things. Oh, a crash research, research ship. I guess I need to pay attention when uh, my scouts are running around picking shite up, eh? And there's the auto move. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I don't think I've played this since uh, since last week. Or e either that or I played it like the Wednesday night before the update. Distillaris Console Edition. Uh, one of the two. Um, 
just to kill time until the Stellaris update, because I was like, eh. Before the update dropped, I deleted all my old custom-made empires. I deleted all my uh, saved games. Started fresh, because I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to do this all over again, where I uh, create a save state with uh, multiple, multiple save points that are good for uh, video purposes. And I didn't want to go back and like redo all my empires and whatnot. I was like, eh, whatever. Plus, there was one save file that I'd been playing for a good year, like since Synthetic Dawn, pretty much. It was my machine empire. That was the one that you've probably seen in some videos where I have like 80 planets and 7,000 pops and stuff like that. I'd already won the game. I just needed to wait for my Colossus to zip around and blow up the last couple planets of uh, the only empire that was resisting. <laughs> It was one, they only had like three planets. It, it was taking it took like a century to go around and blow up all their worlds. They had like a minus six bajillion uh, opinion modifier against me because I blew up so many of their worlds. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Anyways, hope everybody had an okay Monday. My Monday sucked, donkey dick. Wasn't fun whatsoever. But eh. Mondays, what can you do? Adulting. Okay, it looks like the independents are moving, so we are... This is a planner fall stream, Moby! What? <laughs> I like talking about things, man. The the game that I... Save game that I have on planner falling is Amazon, but I have, like, a hard colony, a hard colony, and oh, what the hell was the other one? Oh, hello there. High risk battle. Okay, let's do this. Um, despite playing as Amazon, I have four different. Um, oh, Shakarn. That's it. So I have colonies from four different factions. So I could totally mix and match armies just for funsies. What the Sam hell? Okay. Okay, move here. Go on Overwatch. These guys are not, like, I have no upgrades on these because they're just militia. So, yeah, that's going to be a problem. All right, let's move the bike way up here. This, here we go. This is the way, one, two, three. Let's move them down here. Use the blur cloud on the bike because I want to keep the bike alive and just do massive damage with them. I don't know whether that's going to happen, but we will see. Next turn, I get my operations, and I'm definitely going to use some. Come on, bitches. Come a little closer, I dare you. You're not going to do your leaping attack to attack my bike? Huh? Even even though I baited you? Operations available. I thought for sure they'd be like, Yeah, let's close the distance and attack that bike. <laughs> get staggered, bitches. Something exploded. Did my guys get staggered? They sure did. All right, just move here and go back on Overwatch again. And then these guys, you stay put as well. Back on Overwatch and Bikey Bike can. Ooh, how close do I want to put the bike? Uh, do these guys have a shot over there to the right? Yes, they do. Okay, cool. Let's put Bikey Bike right up here. And can't shoot anybody, so just stay put. And that's on a cool two-turn cooldown. All right. Move the pug up to here. And rotate this way. Stay put. Okay. And what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I need. To, I just want a cheap one. How about if just, we just do a good old vortex charge? That never gets old, does it? Suck on this. There you go. Did a wee bit of damage. Staggered them. Good times. Do it again. Independents are moving. Oh. Here comes the hyper-aggressive spores. You bitch. That's not good. Destroyed our bike's cover. Why would you do such a thing? Okay, that was... Another... Uh, what's it called? Uh, a thing. A thing that does the thing. Um... Earthquake, that's it. Damn it, I only grazed. Oh well. Uh, let's go ahead and move. Hmm. Let's 
move these troopers up to here. That No, that's a little close. That's a little close. Undo last move. Okay, so overwatch, like so. And... Pug. You can go ahead and move closer. This might be risky. Zap. Suck it. Now the troopers, these troopers go on overwatch yet again. Oop. There we go. And I can totes my goats. Deploy a Valkyrie right on these sons of bitches. There you go. Bonk. Bring it on, fuckface. Yeah! Suck it! <laughs> Ooh, hello, what are you gonna do? Ooh, ooh, that did some damage. Holy shit, that was unexpected. Zap, 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 zap. Get in with those assault rifles, boys. There you go. Good job. Oh, you, what? Are you shitting me? Unit lost. Uh, Unit killed in action. Uh, well, at least my guys didn't kill the damn bike. Like, that would have been extremely embarrassing. I've done that before. There's actually an achievement for you for your unit missing its attack and killing another friendly. Bonk. Shuck on them apples. Eat shit! Bonk. Bitch. Alright, how about you? Alright, little cockbite. Eat shit. Enemy Zap! Kill. Shuck my balls. Alright, move up here. Overwatch. And these guys. I'm going to move these guys really close. Right up here. And go on Overwatch this way, like so. Alright, that's fine. That's good right there. Yeah, you trigger that Overwatch. Oh my god. That Biostaff does a lot of damage. Oh. Okay. Well, that's problematic. Okay, let's, uh... I got six tactical operation points left, so I'm gonna bonk the... Tr deploy Valkyrie! Motherfuckers. Hit this guy, because he's pissing me off. Killed a bunch of my dudes. All right, now, go ahead and shoot this piece of shit to shit. Eat that, and eat that. Enemy Goodbye. kill. Suck my balls. All right, now we move up here. And you're going to throw a grenade right on top of these jerk-offs. Here we go. Stagger them. Clobber. Okay. And next unit... Get this Valkyrie. Uh, we're going to get this Valkyrie to jump over to here. And, oh, actually, that might have been the wrong target. Oh, well, that's fine. We're good. Oh, I, what? Why are you blundering? God damn it. Why is this battle so unnecessarily difficult? Unit has fallen. Me more. Ouch. Oh, chain discharge, eh? Whack! Get hit by the sword of destiny. Talk shit, get hit. Oh my god, stuff's exploding everywhere! It's Armageddon out here! All right, let's uh, go ahead and do ye old jetpack jump. Kill this guy, please. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, you missed. Why do you suck so much? All right, you go ahead and just kind of, like, chill here. 
and kill this guy. Rat -a -tat -a -tat -a -tat -a -tat. Enemy destroyed. The usable Hydra. What's going on, man? Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming by tonight to my quiet little Age of Wonders Planet Fall stream. There we go. Enemy down. Enemy down. All right, I've got three points left, but I don't see the reason in using them for another tactical operation because we're kosher. This son of a bitch is going to run in and uh, do that. And now he dies. Prepare to get... Okay, sure, that works too. Sure, whatever. Yep, okay, yep, okay, okay. Grenade time. Suck it. All right, you know what? That pissed me off. Eat this. They never. I don't care chance. that they missed so long as they just get a grazing shot. That's fine by me. This is my favorite game. Eh, good to hear it, buddy. I don't. I don't play this game a hell of a lot, but like, Objective it's good enough complete. where I spend time of it. I spend time on it. I think it's great. I think more people should play it. Um, it's unfortunate that Triumph Studios is no longer going to be releasing more content for it. I don't know if they're doing more updates. Perhaps you do more so than I. Um, okay, we're done that quest. Very good. Uh, but yeah, if they keep if they keep like patching certain things, because there are still some significant issues with the console version. Like in this particular save file, for some reason, every time we started a, a naval battle, like a, wa a battle on water, it crashes. It freezes and crashes every time. The first the first battle. I don't know why. It just does. All right, we created a forward base way up here. Very good. Now we go here. And then we go here to create another forward base just for the hell of it. And then we get this person. Aww. One sh we are one space shy. Why don't we get them to first hit this thing? That will heal them. That's good. Okay, now we can get them to go do stuff. They are apparently doing updates to console but not PC. Um, I mean, maybe maybe PC doesn't have nearly the problems that it does on console because there are some serious uh, issues on the console here. Like there, there's things that you can do that I've that I can replicate very easily that uh, makes it freeze and crash uh, on a consistent basis. So I avoid doing them. Um, but you know, like apart technical issues aside this game is still freaking awesome it doesn't have anywhere near the technical issues as like cyberpunk <laughs> so still very much a game worth buying and playing in my opinion production ready all right capital produced its xeno relations division uh ooh, cosmite generator reactor definitely want that there you go then we do the holistic military care center and this other crap yeah we want that thing up Poor PC players. <laughs> yeah. We, w we want our bonus Cosmite generator thing. This gives us another five Cosmite income per turn. Cosmite is everything at this point in the game. We need Cosmite. We have 202 right now. That's enough for about three or four units. Oh, I play Xbox as well, so Happiness oh, that's event fair. In colony. Okay. Um, I think we're doing okay here. Here, sort of. Royal Duke Gem is doing all right. Alter no. Reality. Okay, now our next tech is gonna be. Ooh, I don't know. I kind of want to get Carrier Command out of the way. I never really use the Assault Carriers. I should one out this game. Okay, confirm movement. This person is going up this way. Get going. And abandon that location. There you go. Give me the stuff. Got 47 energy for that. All right, now I'm going to drop a forward base right here, just to get a road between this state, this sector, and the, our forward base. I hope it creates a road. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, but then we can get her to clear out those two buildings that are there. Keep forgetting how far east Amazon Prime is compared to the rest of our colonies. Okay. Whew, excuse me, sleepy. Whew. All right. Uh, you're producing energy, but I don't want you to anymore. I need you to produce some units. 
I am playing Shikarn currently. I haven't tried the Shikarn just yet. To be honest, like, I, I've played every faction with and each secret tech once, but I never gave them a fair shot. I was kind of just, like, dipping my toes in uh, to get an idea of what they're like. And so far, my favorite factions are Vanguard and Amazon. And Void Tech is hands down my favorite secret tech. Void Tech is so fun. In my unprofessional opinion. Okay, so we got an... We got a commander here. What the hell is this thing again? Oh, yeah. I remember now. And what do you do? Oh, you're in the tank. Jesus. Okay. That's cool. Cool, 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 I don't want to give you a void augmentation. Tire's gift. What's this again? Dispel all status effects. Okay. What the heck does this person have for skills? I can't even remember. Did we give her... Oh, did we give her dimensional feedback? Yes, we did. <laughs> okay, so with dimensional feedback, 50% of the damage done to this unit is done back to the attacker. But we can also apply, since she is in a tank, we can also apply... Where the hell is it? Here we go. Reactive armor plating. Whenever damage is dealt to this unit, 50% of the damage is reflected back to its source. <laughs> I'm using Promethean. Um, Promethean is the only other um, secret tech that I really had some fun with. But yeah, Void Tech is easily my favorite. It's super fun. Um, let's do Laser Precision Module. Or plus one, tr plus one range, 20% accuracy, 30% increased damage because that's amazing. And let's see, what else do we got? Uh, you have a grenade? Oh yeah, it's your secondary. Okay, so what other mods should we give this thing? Uh, maybe a hard light system to give it a level of stagger impact with its laser attacks, but we do need some kind of a void tech mod on this thing. Sequential kill system. Uh, eh, nah, we'll leave that alone. Oh, yeah! Stasis Pocket Inducer. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. And... Last but not least... Oh, I really would like the Quantum Avatar as well. I think we'll do that. Um... Cool. See, this is tough. Reactive Shielding wouldn't be too bad. Um... Interlocking armor, maybe? Ooh, grounding harness. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with that. I, li I like that. Okay. So... Reflect damage. Increased weapons accuracy and range. Laser weapons, specifically. Stasis pocket inducer. Any attacks can remove action points. And stagger resistance plus some arc resistance. This thing has a lot of armor. Um, let's see. Is there something else we can equip with? This? Oh, lightning, la lightning launcher, hey? We'll leave that for somebody that is not in a vehicle. I don't really think this is the most... For some reason, my brain's going, that's eh, not really a very... That's not really the most optimal setup by far, but this could be fun. A hero's laser tank that, uh, reflects, in theory, 100% damage back to the thing that's shooting it, or damaging it, I should say. That could be entertaining. All right, let's leave that be. So she needs some infantry units and a couple, like, healer units, I think. So this guy... What the hell are we going to give this guy? Uh, let's give a quantum avatar, because that's always fun. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? How's about a phase drive? And your abilities... Phase enticing bond. Oh, that's a full action. Damn, impregnate's also a full action. That sucks. Mind flay. Okay, so maybe a no to the phase drive. That sucks. Already got 65 science per turn. Uh, let's go ahead and do... You know what? Why don't we do a gravity pulse grenade? And a dazzler system. Unit ethereal, heavy unit... Heavy units cannot be staggered by high impact and do not, do not turn to face their attacker when flanked. I'm tempted to throw on anti-flanking stuff on this guy. You're already a void tech unit. 
Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. Primal awareness amp amplifier. Nah, let's leave it alone. Let's leave it alone. I'm okay with this. Gravity pulse grenade has a chance of blinding as well, so let's do this. Supernova. All right. Now, you got a heavy soldier from the Paragon as well. You got a zapper soldier from the Paragon. Uh, you could use, I think, a phase manipulator and something for something else for healing unstable phase manipulator is that the one that i want uh let's see template manager why do the hell do i have so many templates I need to get rid of some of these let's get rid of this one don't need you go away uh taser heavy soldier that's the one that i want indefinitely so get rid of that replenished trooper get rid of that refreshed Trooper, get rid of that. Um, Technomancer Engineer, get rid of that. Uh, how about the Assault Bikes? We'll get rid of that. Uh, the Pug, get rid of that. Very good. Now, our Echo Walkers, we'll get rid of that. And the Huntress. Ooh, the Huntress has a missile launcher as well. I like that. And this, there's that. Uh, where's my phase manipulator template? It must have been near the top and I just didn't notice. Yep, way up here. Okay. Ooh, what the? Come on now. Back up to the top. There we go. Okay, so we got one as unstable. Really? Okay. And three as erratic. Okay, so stasis pocket inducer and gravity pulse grenade. So let's change these guys. Uh, stasis pocket and gravity pulse grenade. There we go. Mod equivalent units. This is going to use up pretty much the rest of my Cosmite, which sucks. And then we can eradicate this thing. Go away. So that leaves um, construction here. Or I should, I should say production. Uh, where is the face? Oh. Great, I don't have enough for it now. Good job, Moby. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Maybe I should just get a pug. Yeah, pugs are kind of useful for all sorts of stuff, yeah? There you go. Gunship. I should totes my goats modify our gunship as well. Fortunately, the gunship cannot mount a miniaturized missile array, which really, really sucks. So, let's go with... Huh, I don't even know. Um, it's got an aircraft gun and a buster missile. I think uh, the buster missile only has a range of five, so we can totally throw on the gravity pulse grenade which has another range of five. Yeah, that'll work. And then we'll also do... Um, why don't we go ahead and do a stasis pocket inducer? And we can throw on a phase drive. This is so cheesy, but I like it. Get them to phase drive into position, fire off the buster missile. Oh, wait, the Buster Missile is a full action. Okay. Move into position, fire off a Buster Missile. Next turn, throw a Gravity Pulse... Or, sorry, next turn, phase drive closer if necessary, and Gravity Pulse Grenade, and then they can shoot the aircraft gun as well. That's so stupid. It's so stupid, I like it. Let's do it. Multiversed. Okay, moving on. Let's get back to actually doing things, shall we? All right, head over here. What do we got here? Large anomalous site. Ooh, okay. Burn through the ice. Fuck it. Let's see what happens. And this person... You... Make your way... Ooh. How far can you get? Right over there? Okay, that's fine. 
the fairways. Okay, now this thing, where were you going? Right on top of here. Okay, that's fine. I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to do a pug and a phase manipulator for this army. Uh, because that sounds kind of fun. I think the laser tank will be the main damage dealer. And then everybody else... Well, this thing this thing deals pretty good damage, too. Unfortunately, that's the only thing with a missile launcher. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you need orders. How are you doing? How How is your health, my dear? 63 out of 80, so... Let's give it one more turn. Set society research. What do we got? Um, okay, deep infiltration and global information control. Those are the last two, really? Okay, that's fine. So only one turn for that because we're pulling in 500 science a turn. Add that to the queue, and then we'll add future society tech to the queue as well. Future society tech gives us some kind of a bonus uh, that is permanent, and we can keep repeating this. It's kind of nice. There's also a future military tech one as well. Let's end the turn. But yeah, it, you use if you're if you're raking in science, especially in the late game, you just keep doing those future tech thingies, and you just keep getting bonuses from them, which is pretty sweet. So you never get to a point where your power and your strength or anything like that plateaus. If you are absolutely dominating everybody else in tech. Or if everybody gets to the late game where they all have the basic tech and then everybody just keeps getting these little bonuses every couple of turns. By completing those uh, future tech um, thingies. Okay. What we got going on? Nothing's really happening, which is fine by me. Okay. What about these big... See these big rock things right here? There's one there, too. And then there's one, like, over here. Huh, interesting. Okay. We are getting into the late game for sure, because a lot of, like, better and more experienced players than myself, they, they'd have finished a game in, like, half as many turns as I've played already. I like playing these games long. I like hanging back and like uh, getting all the techs so that I can get all the mods and level up my commanders and stuff. Give them a bunch of skills. Give my units a bunch of mods and stuff like that and a bunch of abilities. And then go to war and be able to have like multiple battles where it's like, you know, three armies against three armies or four armies against three armies or even four armies against three enemy armies plus the fourth, uh, fourth militia army at their colony or something like that or in one of their sectors that's always fun the big battles get pretty crazy there we go okay let's go through these received a proposal from Mahina Wateka uh, they demand we give them a bunch of Cassus Belli and they give us Cosmite. I'll take it. I always want Cosmite. Z Jana is breaking their defensive pact with Mahina. Really? Okay. Speaking of Stellaris, did Strikecraft get a buff? They seem to really wreck shite after the update. Yes, they got some. They got a couple different buffs. If, I forget what they are exactly. Incoming communication. Let me check. What's this? You are at the top now, can, but can you maintain your current stature? Uh, can we get into a non-aggression pact? They don't like us enough. That's too bad. Well, let's go ahead and send them a compliment. There you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Guess my main general's level at turn 15... Um, I don't know, level 15? <laughs> okay, we got a forward base there. That's good. Now we can go up here. Now, the reason why I want to grab this little pile is because we'll get some XP from killing the units, but underneath it is an Imperial Standard, will, which will rank up the hero and all their units by a single level as soon as we get that pickup, and that way she can have the fourth mod slot as well. Uh, we're going to chase them down, get XP from killing them. There we go. 
Yay, level up. Okay, can you move close enough? No, you can't. Damn it. It's fine. There's a spore cloud here? Shit. Okay. There's another standard here? Nice! So we'll get this person to clear out that spawner. And then probably go to the move thing. And then maybe they can move far enough and get that other standard. That'd be amazing. Happiness event All right. in colony. We got more cause might for the happiness event in the capital. That's what Production we want. Production ready. Energizer produced a pug. Very good. Let's go ahead and now construct a phase manipulator. Bloop. And that will be the last unit for this hero's army. Uh, how do I... There we go. Like that. And then Y to split and then move over here. There we go. Okay. We're looking good. Level 5? Oh, okay. Message from the Paragon faction. Uh, completing this will damage your relationship with other factions. But we get another free heavy soldier for it. Uh, okay, we need to construct stuff. So, you know what? Energizer is the place to do constructing. Or producing, I should say. Wait. Oh, that's a... That's a rift generator, not a phase manipulator. Get your shit together, Moby. Get your head out of your ass! Alright, uh... Let's go back to the colonists for a second. Hello? Oh, you're... That's why. You are at minus two. Okay. So, we'll do the luxury goods after we get the phase manipulator. And... Don't care, don't care. Hero leveled up. Excellent. Now, we get the modular extension. Bloop. Bloop. There we go. Okay, what the hell did we need to give this person? I can't remember. Leg exoskeleton system. Fast movement and one level is stagger resistance. Gives them one armor as well. Um, I would probably have to check what our other heroes have. Maybe a miniaturized missile array? <laughs> no, we're not doing that. No. Uh... We could do an improved combat sensors. That makes them fi makes her 15% harder to hit. But doesn't really do much of anything else. Already got 10% harder to hit from that, 15% from that, so that'd be 40% harder to hit by default. Uh, Alright, well, let's back out. I'm going to take a look at our other heroes really quick. Military. Let's go to our heroes. Uh, who? Okay, you're in the tank, you're in the walker. You have a sniper. All right, what do you have? Oh, the stagger thingy. And this person has the um, dimensional in instability causer thing. All right. Uh, so what do we want to give this person? You're already a void tech unit. So what the hell do I want to give you? I don't know. X7 combat stims. 10% ink. 25% accuracy for four turns. Eh, I don't... Eh, no. What mod should we give her? I don't know. Maybe a stasis pocket and inducer. That could be kind of fun. Reactive shielding? Can only be applied to cyborg and mechanical units. Okay. Um, alright, you know what? We're gonna just do the, uh, void augmentation. Screw it. There, it applies dimensional instability now. Sure. It's a little anticlimactic. Deep infiltration. There we go, that one's done. Now we confirm the commander's movement. Um, okay, so this... This has to go good in auto combat. If I try to do manual combat, the game will freeze. So, if, if it goes badly in auto combat, I don't care. I'm not doing it manually. I should have turned on tactical operations. Yeah, we lost the trooper. Damn it. We lost the commander, too? Shit. Okay. Whatever. Damn it. Recuperating in the HQ. Man, that irks me. That irks me. Do we have enough Cosmite to prep a trooper and Energizer? We sure do. Uh, let's do that, and then we will move them up. Bloop, there you go. So their cost... How much are we producing here every turn? Only 218? Really? I thought it was way more than that. 
Okay, so what's left? Uh, 144, so that's 50. And you need 81. Oh, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll get both of those units done next turn. Good. That's what I want to see. And you need something to do. So let's go ahead and stick it right here. And the next turn, you can take out that stupid little spawner that's been annoying me for a while. And this person, are you all nice and healed up? 75 out of 80, that's good enough. Alright, we're going in. Get tactical, Marines! Uh, low risk battle. This looks familiar, except instead of a Phoenix Walker, they have a Rift Generator. Alrighty then. Six now after a turn. There you go. And we beat the crap out of them. Okay, that was easy. Bunch of influence for it. More importantly, that hero got some XP. I'm going to get this hero to move down and clear out this spawner now. Then we can go for this other broadcast station. Get some more XP from that, too. Alright, let's see. What can I mod you with? You already have Nanite Injectors, Dazzler System. Um, how about Quantum Avatar? Just for fun? Ooh, Biochemical Reekness. That's right. Uh, let's see. Stasis Pocket Inducer would be nice. Let's just give him Quantum Avatar. Because that sounds fun. There you go. Enjoy. Now, this person... You go here really quick. Go forward base. And now... Do we want the Imperial War Monument or the Broadcast Station done? Let's do the War Monument first. Bonk, 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 bonk. Here we go. Ooh. They got some stuff. Let's try this. Auto Combat. And... Wow. Beat the crap out of them. That was slightly unexpected. No problem. Go to this one next. Or maybe you should go to the heal station first. Yeah, we'll do the heal station. Now, this soldier, you can move on down over here to Energizer. Also need mods. What mods am I giving the soldiers again? Oh, no, don't auto-explore. Uh, rail accelerator, combat protocol implants, and electrified ammo. So, plus 10% accuracy, plus 20% accuracy, and that's not bad. That is not bad. Actually, maybe that's what I was supposed to give the other commander. Where is she? Again, I can't remember. Right over, nope, that's not her. Where the hell? Where'd you go? There she is, up here. This way, way up here in the north. Okay, there you are. Maybe combat protocol implants is what you need. Can we give you that? Uh, yeah, we can. Sweet. Yeah, I like that way better. It's even more damage, too. So they are now... 10% increased accuracy and critical hit chance, as well as making this unit 10% harder to hit. I like that. Uh, okay. Set production in Amazon Prime. You can go ahead and... Um, I don't know. What can you do? What can you do? Uh, I don't know. Why don't you just go ahead and get started on these luxury goods things? So, am I missing how to do rally points again in Stellaris? Uh, no, rally points are not a thing anymore, I don't, I do not believe. I'm pretty sure they got rid of those. What's similar to a rally point is you set the home base of your fleets. Transdimensional regulator. Void tech strums reality's strings, resonating across infinite emptiness. Those harmonics create a symphony of possibilities. 
Alright, I think we're good. We've done all we can here. Let's end the turn. Energy convoy. Let's take the reward. And we're good. Fleet is out and I want the new ships to, zo to join. So I assume I have to merge manually. Yes. Just yeah, you just select the two different types, the two different fleets, and uh, tell them to merge. That's it. Super simple. All right. Hey, there's a sci-fish stack here. What are you doing? We really have not explored this map very much. If at all. Super simple. Extra steps that rally points took care of until they were moved. I mean, the other thing to do is just add those ships to, to the fleet in the fleet manager and then hit reinforce all. <sighs> Excuse me. The Distortion. That's the name of the sector? That's a pretty cool sector name, if you ask me. The Distortion. Wah, 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 wah. Beware. In these regions, there exists a creature whose name alone strikes fear into the hearts of men. They call it the Distortion. <gasps> dun, dun, dun! <laughs> Um, you might need to sum that the ne What? You might need to sum that the next time you stream Stellaris. What? Okay. Alright, Usable Hydro. Have a good night, man. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Hopefully I'll see you again. Oh, you might need to show that. Okay. English! <laughs> Jaina broke their defensive pact. Blah, blah, blah. Creative forward base. Way over here. Very good. Let's uh, get healed up. And now you can attack the broadcast station. And enter auto combat. That's a lot of syndicate units. Or not syndicate, synthesis. Excuse me. Syndicate. <laughs> I are good speaker. Or, well, uh, yeah, that was one... That was kind of half and half. Two of those were synthesis. Sorry, three of those were synthesis. And three of those were assembly. So, yeah, pretty half and half. Okay, uh, what's next? Uh, why don't you just go down in there and grab this guy here? I don't know what the hell is down here. Uh, Imperial Energy Stash. Whoopee. Whatever. It's stuff. It's stuff. Let's grab stuff. We could totally clear out this Cosmite Stash as well. All right, Production Energizer ready. produced a phase manipulator. Did you now? All right, move over here. All right, now it's time for this... Uh, I almost said commander. For this hero to go adventuring out into the world. Let's go up here. Build a forward base up there, I think. Because building a forward base here did not do the... Very hopeful, but highly unlikely thing of make a road between these two sectors. Too many bits of mountain between them, I think. Okay, now this person, you can't attack them in one turn. God damn it. Son of a bitch! Happiness event in colony. Alright, we got some food here in Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't love this? Some food. Royal Duke Jam can annex another sector. Well, which sector do we want Royal Duke Jam annexing? I don't know. Um, we could totes my goats grab too. Oh, hey, yeah, that's right. We're doing this as a residential sector too, are we not? I believe we are, but more importantly, we're going to grab this one here because we want this Cosmite Rift giving us that bonus Cosmite. Yummy. 
All right, message from the Psyfish faction. We've got a beautiful little quest to do. Yum, yum. Joe to Frogman, you can add new ships to the fleet on the fleet manager's screen, then reinforce fleet, and the ships travel to the fleet after they've constructed. Sorry, but we already explained this. I was taking a dump. <laughs> Uh, thanks for sharing. Really needed to know. <laughs> All right. Uh, do, 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 do. do I want to attack right away? Yeah, I don't see why not. Carry command is done, and now we can do dimensional mastery, even though I don't really need it. And then after that, we can finally get going on some more Amazon techs. Because we still have a whole tech tree of Amazon stuff that we haven't done. Bombardon Commune, Bombardon Commune, excuse me, Regenerative Bioresonance. We've got the Pteranodon Commune to do as well. Like, we just got all sorts of good stuff. Okay, this, this, little, this little soldier can confirm movement. Alright, Electrified Ammo, Combat, combat Protocol Implants, Ooh, Overcharge Augment. Eh, nah, let's leave it, let's leave it alone. Rail accelerators. These guys are really cheap to upgrade. I like that. Only 15 Cosmite? Not bad. Okay, now. You guys go ahead and plop your little behinds right there in that army stack. There you go. Alright, what else do we want in this army stack? I don't even know. We have two soldiers, a trooper, a tank, and a rift generator. That's really, really strange. Let's go ahead with a pug, shall we? And this person... Confirm movement. Wasn't there a healing station somewhere around here? Huh, I guess not. Okay. Make your way down towards the spawner, please. You will heal on the way. What are you doing for XP? <gasps> you need one XP and then you level up. Sweet. Okay, this person... Let's go ahead and... Attack this. And risky. This is risky? Alright. Auto combat. What was so risky about that? We kicked their ass. Oh, we got an inferno handgun. Okay. It's considered a laser weapon. Neat. Alright, now you can move over to here. For no reason. So that you can move back to here. That was pointless. And very low risk battle. Let's do it anyways. And we're good. Right on. There we go. Another level up for this hero. Okay. Uh, what can we give her? Now, she's an Amazon hero, so she has Amazon skills uh, and Promethean as well. Visual Acuity. One extra hex of range when in cover. <laughs> nope. Um, let's see. War Cry. Don't care about that. Do, 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 Close Quarters Specialist 3 would be great. Animal Discipline. Animal and Mounted Units plus 5 health and plus 200 morale. Don't care for that. Biological and cyborg units in the army, plus two biological resistance and plus five max HP. That's not too bad. 20% uh, additional damage to animal, plant, and xenoplague units. Only functions when the hero is the army's commander. That's pretty good. Um, all units in this hero's army gain plus two f f f f fire, thermal, I should say. Thermal resistance and one armor. What's purging field? At the target location, all negative effects are removed from all friendly units within a 2 hex radius area of effect. Huh. That's not too bad. Renewal. Heal a friendly biological or cyborg unit. Blah, blah, blah. These... Yeah, we don't have very good options right now. Could really use that close quarters specialist 3, though. Let's go ahead and just go with... Personal Weapons Expert, which gives plus 10% damage and accuracy on attacks when not in a vehicle. So, this is... We got a few accuracy boosters for this one. Uh, plus 20% accuracy total. 10 from the combat protocol imp implants. 10 from the... Uh, the thing. The scale that we just gave her. So, 
yeah. It's going to be an interesting combination, I think. Alright, little rabbit piglet. It's all up to you. Take out that spore cloud. Mission accomplished. Good work. Okay. Uh, let's get these guys to move all the way up to here. Like so. And then hopefully we can move them on here to disembark and then go right here to get all their move points again. And then they can blah, 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 run all the way up here. That would be pretty dope. Idle colonists in Royal Duke Jam. That's a big no-no. Uh, what are y'all doing? Three. Supposed to be doing stuff. Hang on. One, two, three, four. I should put them in food. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that sped things up a little bit. All right. End turn. Ready to rock and roll. I do believe we complete the first section of that large anomalous site next turn. That'll be nice. So large anomalous sites have four steps to them instead of just three like a medium or two like a small. And you can get some pretty cool stuff from some of these uh, anomalous sites. Thanks, that part I was missing is the fleet manager found it in the fleets and ships menu on the left nav bar. That's correct. I like and dislike the fleet manager at the same time. I, I think it was nice to, ha to have it added, but I do have my complaints about it. But then again, if I didn't have my complaints about it, I wouldn't be me, would I? Deep Dug Mining Corp. Why do I have eyes on that? Kind of weird. Anyways, fun fact. Uh, this week, I might not be able to stream later on. That's a big might. Um, obviously, I intend to for the whole week. But I'm doing some more renos in my house a little later. Specifically in my living room. Where my TV and computer are. So it might be difficult to play games at all, let alone be able to stream and download and render a video out of them. So we'll see. Remind me to uh, say that same reminder in the Stellaris stream tomorrow, just to alert everybody. If that happens, it'll be the Thursday, Friday, where I'm not able to stream. Plus, we, it's Easter weekend coming up, too, so I do have family coming over for a little while. And by a little while, I mean several days. So, as always, we will see. I'm hoping it, that my stream schedule will not be interrupted because I that's I look forward to these streams every every day that I stream them. Uh, that being said, I don't get bummed out that I don't stream on Wednesday because Wednesday I kind of just chill and uh, recuperate a bit. Shay and Countess signed a non-aggression pact. Shay and Tian Three signed a non-aggression pact. Okay. Alright, let's get going. It's my turn. Come on. I want to get to my turn. Ow. Objective complete. There we go. We got another heavy soldier. Here. Another Paragon heavy soldier. Let's take a look at the unit template manager again. I forget what I... Oh, I have not modified the Plague Lord at all, either. I'll deal with that later. Okay. Uh, missile launcher, electric ammo, and rail extension. Okay, that's super duper easy. Mini archer, missile array, electrified ammo, and... Where is it? Rail accelerators. There we go. Yoink. So these guys are not void tech units. Because I'm not setting them up as void tech units. I don't know how I feel about that. All good. Okay. Let's 
get you to move down to Energizer and hang tight. You can hear it walking. <laughs> Shay and Countess signed a non-aggression pact. All right. Shay and Tian three signed a non-aggression pact. Beautiful. Production right, capital. We got a Cosmite generation reactor in the capital now. Beautiful. Production ready. Research land produced a thing. Uh, Shrine of Darkness. What does this do? All units in this produced in this colony gain 15% evasion. Wow, that's pretty cool. All nine mon all nine mindless non mindless units produced in this colony gain 25% experience from all sources. I don't really care about either of those because this sector is just this colony is just for producing science. That's literally it. There we go. Maximize science. You know what I like? Learning things. Alright, so let's go ahead with improved and advanced military infrastructure. Then let's get a holistic military care center, combat simulator. And that's it. From that point on, we will do nothing but generate science in this colony. It's not going to produce units at all. Happiness, uh, event happiness event in colony. What do we got here? 171 production. My horrific. Happiness and event we got some in food? colony. Oh, we got some food. Sector Annex. Sector base four. Royal Duke Chan. There we go. We're getting more Cosmite, boyos. Yeah. Plus eight more Cosmite. Plus eight more Cosmite. We're getting plus eight more Cosmite. Okay. Now, since... These are all... All these sectors are energy or something like that. Uh, so, higher energy scanning station. Oh, I don't care about that. Units are produced with reduced upkeep. Ugh. Buy now costs 30%. Ugh, I want that. I might do the higher energy scanning station. Maybe. Probably not, but we'll see. Optimization control agency. Do 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 do. Yeah, sure. Ah, fuck it. We'll do an energy efficient assembly line. I don't like the high energy scanning station. I think it's dumb. That's just me. Message from the Spacers faction. We got a quest here, too. Whoop. Well, hello there. Holy crap. What is that? Oh, my God. That is a Devar Earth Crusher. It is their top unit. Kind of like the assault carrier is for the Vanguard. Wow. I got to deal with one of those now? Great. Well, let's see if you're up to it, little lady. Uh, let's get you to just move here for now and then stay put. Heal up some more. Sakin, what's going on, buddy? Thanks for coming by tonight. Still so got about a half hour left in the stream, so I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening here with me. That would be cool. Um, well, you're right. There's a move station there. All right, you go ahead and just move up to here. And build a forward base. Don't know what this is going to do in terms of transportation, but we'll see. And this person, you, move on down here. And annihilate these fools. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. What did we get for that? 60 energy. Okay. Now go down here. Get that one. Well, that's all good. Just waiting for my good in... Just wait for, waiting for my good in the oven to finish cooking. <laughs> ah, your good's in the oven to finish cooking. There you go. Okay. Now, I need to remember to click the stick to allow tactical operations in auto combat. Eh? Risky battle. Click the right stick. There we go. Okay. Auto combat. Let's see... We still lost? You gotta be kidding me. How the fu- Oh, now I'm pissed. Our hero somehow escaped, though. You gotta be kidding me. What the- 
That's some bullshit. All right, piggy, go over here. Clear these guys out. There we go. 49 food for that. All right, time to make your way down to uh, Energizer. Because I don't know what army I'm going to use you in, buddy, okay? But, you know, you just be a good little piggy and go do things that I tell you to do. Okay? You couldn't hear it, but he went, You got it. All right, uh, this person. Uh, what am I doing with you? I don't really want to do this quest one right now. My gosh. Two Plague Lords. That is not cool looking. Um, damn. Why don't we go up here and clear them out of this location just for fun? Hey, get the hell out of here for 44 influence. Thanks very much. Tactical repair rig. Wow. What a garbage item. Didn't care for it. All right, stay put. All right, uh, next up, got these guys. Yep, move over to here. There's all your move points back. Beautiful. Make your way towards Don Capital. There you go. The heroes should be resurrected eventually. I don't know when. Set production in Amazon Prime. I can do that. Um, oh, okay. And there we go. And what's next? I don't know. Oh, we just generate a bunch of knowledge while we're at it, huh? Okay, maybe not. Generate energy for a turn. Actually, that's a bad idea as well. Let's slap these guys down here. One, two, three, four. There you go. And get rid of that and generate knowledge. Okay, an anomalous site requires our attention. What do we got here? The Devar Forge City. We uncovered a tangle of pipes snaking in and out of the walls of the Forge City. Scorch marks scar the walls. Charred and countersuits lie dormant and empty. Walkways spiral through the rings of concentric outer walls, leading to a massive fortress furnace chamber suspended above a pool of roiling magma. Huh. An ancient Devar Forge city where D where Devarmos's forge stood. His gauntlet is an artifact of legend, capable of leveling mountains and armies alike. We got 600 science for that? Dope. Pay the gates due. Ooh, insufficient cosmite. That's not good. Uh, a thick brass gate leans heavily to one side of the fortress forge. Many scorched cadavers litter on the floor just outside the gate. Most notably on the platform lies a gold accented DVR suit of which of what must have been a director. The gate bears the iconic inscription Prosperity brings responsibility, impatience brings ruin. Um okay. So we could try destroying the gate, which only has a fifty percent chance of success. Let's do it anyways. Uh, failure Shit. We've tried a dozen configurations on the gate, but with each barrage of explosives, the gate settled deeper into its place. Fire and concussive force echoed through the whole underground complex, rupturing pipes and spitting gouts of fire all about us. A final blast breaks a small hole in the gate. We were able to pry it apart and clear the massive damage we did to the interior. After some effort, we start up mining production once again. The army suffered 90% damage, and the sector was terraformed to volcanic. Well, that sucks. That really sucks. What an awful failure that is. Ugh. Imperial mining facility. Gives plus 10 and plus 10 production and plus 2 production slots. Yeah, well that was that was crap. That was utter crap. What a bunch of crap that crap was. I want some I want my money back for that crap. Damn it, now I'm kind of pissed. I was hoping to get something good and we wound up getting sweet fuck all. Well, y'all need to heal up because you took 90% damage. Sector terraformed. Whatever. I didn't want that sector anyways. That sector's for chumps. Sounds like you dug too deep. <laughs> Sounds like we blew too many things up, apparently. <laughs> 
How's it going, Lord Sloth? Good to see you, buddy. I'm still choked about this battle down here. Like, I gave tact uh, full use of tactical operations, and it still didn't work. Come on. In turn. I'm kind of pissed. Release the unit chrysalis. On the, uh, hey, let's improve our reputation a wee bit. Why don't we? Denied customs. As you prepare to acquire the stash, you receive a Paragon transmission. They explain that the materials you have found arrived on the planet illegally and that they should be left alone for the Union to confiscate. Leave the materials behind and gain 15 influence. The Union is not coming back. Alright, let's do that. Cosmite stash. Plus 10 Cosmite. I do really need Cosmite right now. Oh, I, th I thought the game froze for a second. I was like, no. 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 But then it was like, oh, hey, it moved again. Woohoo. <laughs> that is like the first time that I've had a large anomaly site just turn up total shit for me. Partially because I chose the thing that was like 50% chance of success. I should have waited a turn and then used the Cosmite and then waited the two turns after that. Ugh, whatever. I was impatient. That's what I get for being a poo face. That's a Harrier. That's a big ol' Harrier. It's a, it's a giant pterodactyl. It's bigger than my pterodactyl. And then that hero's on a frickin' bike. I forgot that that's the thing for the assembly heroes is they can get these they get these little war bikes. They're kind of funny. It would be 10 times better if there was a certain vehicle in here. Actually, I guess you could. You could get like an imperial buggy or something, yeah? Something like that. Put your hero in a little imperial buggy or an imperial APC or something like that and just move them around and Shout, all right, Mega Truck, let's get busy. <laughs> uh, fun fact having vision on, on computers is really, really crappy. They have a habit of splitting up their armies and moving their armies like one unit at a time over and over and over and over and over. It takes three times longer to get through the set of turns if you are, if you have vision on even like one computer, or I should say, if you're sharing vision. I found that one out the hard way, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm never doing that again, ever." <laughs> About 20 minutes left in the stream, so that should be enough time for a turn, maybe two, if we go fast. But I guess it'll probably be only one turn if we uh, get into a manual battle here. I wouldn't mind another manual battle. Finish off the stream. I just turned off the watch movement part. Oh! That's a thing. Okay. There's a way to do it where you don't watch, like, AIs moving around, I do believe, right? Uh, popular support changed to supportive. Okay, cool. Infiltrate System operations infiltrated. failed. Stop doing that. Hey! Commander returned. Beautiful. Alright, you need to go back to Energizer because they now have a little trooper dude for you. He is right here. Okay, now let's see how far he can move. Move way up there. And now the commander move one square away or one hex away from that Bloop. sure that means enemy armies sometimes sneak in with a notification system usually helps yeah that's fair that would be pretty awesome victory condition doomsday don't care create a forward base cool don't care production energizer ready. produced a pug why me again why they were producing a pug I can't remember uh, why don't we go ahead and get an engineer just for fun because Lowell Missile Launcher. Missile Launcher. Royal Duke Jam produced Botanical Gardens. Uh, what do 
are we going to build after that? I don't even know. Um, let's put another guy here in the happiness slot. That way it's every four turns we get a new happiness event. Actually, I think we put another one. Yeah, every three turns we get a happiness event. World UI observe mode. There is a setting for enemy only. Hmm, okay. Uh, off ready to launch. Spacers faction demand. Locate sector. Uh, let's close that for a second. Uh... You know what? We can we can give him that. I don't care. I don't need that. There we go. Dimensional mastery done. Now we can start getting some Amazon techs. Hell yeah. And regenerative bio resonance is already done too. Let's get the bomb commune. And this guy. Move him down here. Get going. <laughs> yeah. That's a thing. Alright. Little piggy. Oh, that's why. There wasn't a forward base there. Okay. Well, that was stupid. Why didn't you build a forward base there, Moby? I don't know. Stop yelling at me. Alright, now. Let's clear this out. And remove yourself from this location. Thank you very much. Let's get some food. Yummy. And how about this guy? Chase them down. Attack! I don't know what's under there. We lost the phase manipulator. I don't want to lose that the phase manipulator. We're retrying that. That's some bullshit. How the hell did we lose anybody? That's what I want to know. Okay, don't freeze. Close to the end of the stream. Please don't freeze. I'm pretty sure none of our guys will be affected by the uh, void storm in this sector because I believe all of our dudes are void tech units. Uh, except for this guy. Okay, never mind. I lied. Uh huh. Ever watched the auto-resolve replays? The answer was probably really dumb how you lost it. Yeah, probably. Well, he's only, like, at half health, too, so there's that. Blinding light! <laughs> blinding heal! Blinding heal! Blinding heal! Alright, you know what? What the hell's this? Battle plan. Oh. Life's grace. Go ahead and use this. There we go. That didn't work. What? Well, ain't that some bullshit? I call hacks. And this guy can't activate Overwatch? What? That's some bullshit. I call hacks. What's this? Deploy smoke, right? Duh. I know what that is. Get your head out of your ass, Moby! Oh, stop yelling at me. Okay, can you shoot this guy? Oh, you're damn right you can. Deploy smoke bomb! And now do the super shot. 75% chance to hit? I don't care. It'll almost kill him. Zap! Get shit on. Check my bows. Alright, let's uh, move you here. And then the engineers can uh, move up to here. And uh, use their repair tools. Uh, buddy boy up here. Here you go. Ready to rock and roll. Okay, now let's get the phase manipulator. Move up to here. Wait. And now the rift generator is going to do something. Uh, why don't we just get him to like move up here for fun? And turn this way. You're good there. Hey, Moby, look at me being fashionably late. Yeah, no kidding. There's only about ten minutes left in the stream, buddy. 
Whoa! Look at that quantum avatar teleportations. Whee! You want a piece of me more? Okay. What are y'all doing? Bam! Kinetic phase Operations modulator, right? available. What exactly is that doing again? What do we got here? Dimensional rift, hey? How about you guys get fucked? We killed one! <laughs> Bitches. And now number two will die too. Enemy annihilated. See ya! Alright, we're not done yet because the phase manipulator is going to uh one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna move here. And guess what you're gonna do? You are going to phase shift abduct these bad boys. Alright, next on the list of cool things that you can do, you're gonna move right here. You're gonna blast the crap out of these guys. Zap, 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 zap. Zap, 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 zap. And there's still more because the the commander, hero, person, themselves needs to move up to here and shoot the piss out of this guy. Get fucked. And get fucked. Enemy destroyed. Toodles. Alright, now let's go ahead and get the engineer to uh do something. Let's get them to move up here. I haven't fired a single missile yet. <laughs> Quantum Avatar Halo. Beautiful. Alright, put down your missile launcher there. And the missile launcher turret is going to fire off in this direction. Bitch. I do not feel the need to use a um, tactical operation. Ow. Rude. Alright, motherfucker. You want a piece of us? Do you want a piece of us? You know what? I'm just gonna fire off a big flurry of missiles. Upgrade a strike missile. Go! That worked. Brimstone missile. Go! Get fucked. And now these guys can go ahead and move over here. And we got another brimstone missile coming in. No line of sight. Oh, that's not cool. Why don't you have a line of sight anymore? Well, that sucks. Okay. Uh, you move up here. And you've got upgraded strike missile. Fire! They have no action points left. Time for a brimstone missile. And what else do we have? Uh... Oh, we got a gravity pulse grenade just for fun. Yeah. Get totes my ghost hit him with that, I guess. Move on up to here. And here you go. They Quick. never stood oh. a chance. See ya. <laughs> Bitches. Damn right, never stood a chance. Crashed research ship. Okay, that's what that was. All right, well, we need to get these guys out of here so that they can self-heal a little bit on the next turn. Bloop, bloop. Bombardon com oh. Commune. There we go. We got some Amazon, Amazon. Got some Amazon, Amazon tech. Uh, Tyranodon Commune? Yes, please. They have laser weapons, so I want them. A barrage of missiles are an important part of a fist. I 110% agree. Uh, do I have tactical operation points? I sure do, but let's wait a turn because they still need some heals. Alright, now, this is going to be a little stupid. But I'm going to attack. Auto com uh, I'm going to keep tactical operations on. Auto combat. What? How hard is it to use dimensional collapse on the son of a bitch so it instantly dies. Damn it.
damn it, now I'm pissed. Like this is all their stuff too. All right, go pick this up. Get going. Uh, who has the most move points left? Oh, you hover, so get going. <laughs> Uh, that's the smog sniper? Yeah, we want to move that to arsenal. Thank you. Alright, now move on back. Ugh. Painful. Whoops. I'm being all, I'm being all, like, computery now. Come on, split them together, like so. Alright, that's, that's better. I'm kind of pissed about that. All right, shut up about your primed and ready bullshit. Give me a hero resurrection protocol. All right, um, you can probably go do your thing. Nah, give it one more turn. I want full tactical operation points on this one. Okay, now you folks move over here. You're gonna sit on Amazon Prime. You're gonna heal. You weren't going to retry it? No, well, because it keeps freezing every time we get into a naval battle, remember? So I didn't want to risk it again. I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, these guys want rest western wreckage, and they can have it. Here you go. Bye-bye. I don't need that. Besides, I can... Uh, spacer base. I can touch my go to move a guy over there and be like, Hey, can I have this? <laughs> All right, clear this guy out, please. Uh, oh, shoot, I still have the thing checked off for tactical operations. Shit. Um, I'm going to retry that. I don't want to use those tactical operations just in case. I'm not sure it used one anyways. Bring it on, bitches. Bunch of little animals. You want a piece of meat, boy? I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with this thing. <laughs> uh, enticing bond. Bond will target enemy. Entice to a non-mindless unit for two turns. Okay. To run towards the caster. All right. Okay, so first up, you guys just go ahead and like move right here and go on Overwatch, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, now, you tank lady, you are going to move. Uh, uh, you know what? You're just going to stay right here. That's fine. I'm okay with you right here. Oop. There you go. Turn this way. And. Defense mode. Now this guy. Let's go ahead and move him up. Actually, maybe not right there. That's kind of a dumb idea. Let's just plop him down. Right here. This should be good. Use the brimstone missile plus the... Missile, missile in the next turn. You go up here. Wait. These guys can move forward. Stay put. This guy. Stay put. Alright, we're good. We got somebody in the middle of all that with a quantum avatar, so we're kosher. Even though a couple of these guys are like melee. Well, these guys are. The, the little hopper hounds are. Alright. Come get Operations some. Ready. You want a piece of me, boy? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, we're doing it. Phase shift abduct. <laughs> What's good? Wow, they got fucked. 
finish him off. Zap. Zap. Enemy Zap. neutralized. Peace out. Hello. All right, now I am going to hit this little flyer dude with an obscure cloud. Blah, blah, blah. That'll do that. And what's next? This guy. Oh, yay. Missiles. Missiles are fun. Shoot a missile over here. Suck it. And uh, how about another one? Here you go. Bitches. Now these guys are just going to run up to the dude that's enticing them. Which was the whole point of that uh, maneuver. You missed, but then you hit somebody else. That's not cool. Yeah. Again, they missed and hit somebody else. Brilliant. I like it. Go ahead and move here. And eat the crap out of these guys. Beat the crap out of these guys. Enemy Achoo. down. Got him. Get yeah, fucked. Alright, how about these assholes? Sub Zero's get over here in Planet Fall. Well, which one? The phase, the phase shift of duct? Because <laughs> uh, I wholeheartedly agree. All right, pal, you're going down. All right, little puggy guy, go get him. Enemy get down. Vaporized. Bitch. And laser cannon. They never stood a chance. Bye bye. Bitch. <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah, crashed research ship. Uh -uh. Get fucked. Okay. Um. Now what? Where am I gonna send this person? Oh, you know what? We also got that. Uh, we got these quests, eh? Quests-s-s-s-s-s-s. We should do these quests -s -s -s. I could really use some or orbital dispersal thing in my bobbers. You think? Uh, I'm just going to send you back over here. Fuck it. See if we can kick those spacers out of that sector and get that sector back. Just because lol 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 lol. Reputation changed to virtuous for some reason. We don't know yet. All right. Well, I'm going to end this turn. That will be it for tonight. Unfortunately, I had to waste that last little bit in with the manual combat, but it's okay. Shite happens, I guess. All right. Let's end the turn here. And let's see what our scouts pick up. Ooh, take the item. Lightning blade. Dope. Uh, that's an okay one. Sell the item. Eh. Melee arc. Eh, it's a good item. But I don't have any mods to improve arc damage. But we can still give it to a hero and give them Void Tech mods. Because those are always fun. Alright, well that looks like it's it for that's gonna be it for tonight. Big thank you to everybody who came by to watch me playing tonight. Much appreciated. A bit of a quieter evening, but that's okay. Joe the Frogman, Strength Norse, Naughty Dog, Usable Hydra, and uh, Royal Duke Jam. And Sakian was here for a little bit. And Lord Sloth as well, all you guys. Thanks for coming by. Uh, it actually does mean quite a lot to me when you folks pop by the Planetfall streams or, or the streams that are not Stellaris Console Edition because it does tell me that uh, you guys are interested in something other than just my Stellaris Console Edition content because I don't want to get bogged down where everybody simply wants to watch me play the same damn game all the time. That's not really my idea of uh, intriguing. It's not the way I want to do things. I'll see you later, Lord Sloth. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I stream again on Thursday, like I said. Got some stuff going on. I might not even be able to play Vigi games that night, so we'll see. But if I can't stream, you bet your ass I will. Um, anyways, yeah. Those of you watching this in the future on YouTube, as I said before, huge thank you for watching this. Uh, give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below what you think of Age of Wonders Planetfall, how you think this playthrough is going. Um, 
If you're going to try this game out for yourself, if you already have it, what your favorite uh, faction and secret tech is, you name it, just leave a comment down below about this game in general. I think this game is awesome. I do not play it enough. Um, I, and I'm trying to kind of spread its awareness a little bit. I'm kicking myself for not getting it when it first came out, but maybe that's a good thing because uh, they've had a lot of patches come out since then that have probably fixed some issues. So um, if you would like to see some more uh, content like this, maybe not specifically for, for Age of Wonders Planetfall, although I will stream this for uh, a little while still, at least through the rest of April, uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, the goal for 2021 is to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of December. And uh, the best things you can do are, of course, subscribe yourself and uh, share this content with anybody who you think might enjoy watching it, whether you have any friends or colleagues that also play Age of Wonders Planetfall or if you're trying to interest them in the game, send them my way. Excuse me. Send them my way. Maybe these videos will give them a really good impression of the game. I sure hope they do. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below. You'll find one for my uh, Twitch channel, which I streamed this off of. Give me a follow there. I post important... I, uh, Jeez, wrong thing. Give me a follow on Twitch. Uh, I'm streaming four days a week currently, Monday to Friday uh, at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time or 7 o'clock uh, local time for me, which is Mountain Time. Uh, so pop on by, see what I'm playing. Uh, currently, Planetfall is on Mondays and Thursdays, and Solaris Console Edition is Tuesdays and Fridays. So drop in on either of those e evenings at the start time and uh, see what I'm playing. Maybe uh, in the future, once we get the viewer polls done, I will definitely be playing some other games as well. So pop in, see what I'm playing. Uh, hopefully I can entertain you for the evening, or maybe I'll even interest you in a game you have never uh, heard of or tried before yourself. Uh, there's also a link to my Twitter feed down below. Give me a follow there. It's a great way to keep in touch with me, and I post important announcements all the time. Uh, it's also a good alternative if you are having difficulty getting the uh, alerts from Twitch, because I post on my Twitter every time I go live uh, with the stream. So that's another good way to uh, stay tuned with uh, whenever I pop online. Uh, with a Twitch stream. Last but not least, there is a link to my own personal Discord channel for fans of my content to freely join. Uh, it's not necessary at all. Um, it's just a place for uh, those of you who enjoy watching my stuff to kind of congregate. And you can talk about the games that I stream. You can talk about whatever's on your mind. we got all sorts of different channels uh, for discussion about uh, whatever you feel like. Uh, and if you want to take part in the little community events, such as submitting uh, clips of your favorite moments from my videos or my Twitch streams, uh, I put them together in a little kind of best of 2021 compilation that will be public um, in January of next year. So that's going out. Th that's going on throughout all of 2021. Uh, if you want to take part in that, or if you want to take part in the viewer polls that are going to happen sometime in the future uh, to determine what games I play live on stream off of my Xbox or my PlayStation, um, that is the place to be. My own personal Discord channel. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Check out the links down below. Again, huge thank you to everybody who came by and watched this, me play this live. And of course, a big, huge, excuse me, a huge thank you to everybody who's going to be watching this in the future on YouTube. Uh, I should be back on Thursday with some more Planetfall. As I said, maybe not. We'll see. Uh, I will keep you up to date on Twitter uh, if I can't make it. Until then, hope you have a good night. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back in Stellaris Console Edition playing with our Lithoid Empire some more. That should be a lot of fun. Until then... Um, this is Mobius Fly signing off for now. We'll see you soon. Take care, everybody.